although you might not be married, you might not be wearing a ring, as a Christian, you've been married twice. So let's say I'm married and um, my wife, she always, um, she's never at home. Actually, she's in the home of her original husband. And I never get to spend any time with her. We're married legally, but she, she never spends any time with me. In fact, she's always mourning her abusive husband, her previous husband. And so we're married by law, but in practicality, we're not actually married. So Paul gives us a similar picture in Romans 7 of a woman married to a husband. The husband dies and then she gets married to a new husband. And then in Romans 7:4, Paul starts with, So then, my brothers, you also have been made dead through the body of Christ so that you may be joined to another. And so we see that as Christians, we've been made dead in Christ through regeneration by being born again uh, to be joined to another, to be joined to Christ. He is our new husband. So who is our old husband? The verse itself says that we should die to the law. But if we look at Romans 6, 6, we actually see that our old husband is what is Paul calls the old man. He says that our old man has been crucified with Christ, that the body of sin might be annulled. So our old man is actually our previous husband. So when we were created, according to Isaiah, Isaiah 54 verse 5, says that your maker is your husband. This shows us that God, as our maker, has a desire to be our husband and we, his wife. And so, as, as, as our husband, he looks to be our everything to us. In the proper way, he looks to be our entertainment, be our pleasure, be our provision, be everything to us that we need as human beings. But unfortunately, because we fell, we became independent of God. And because we became independent of God, God gave us the law. And according to Romans 5.20, this was so that sin could abound. That means to, be, to be, become more. So the Lord actually gave the law so that there would be more sin. So we could see that we are unable to be our own husbands. Actually, we, we, we are not qualified. By, be, by be, going through the fall, by being fallen in ourselves, we cannot be in the position of providing for ourselves, being, being um, our own husband. And so the Lord had came not only to die for our sins, but in order to so that, so that we could be joined to him in his death, so that we could die to our old husband. So praise the Lord, our old husband is dead. And we have now been joined to Christ as our new husband, as our real husband. And so the way the one thing that our old husband used in order to keep us, to lord it over us, to abuse us, was the law, according to Romans 6. The old husband used the law to lord it over us. However, the new husband just gives us grace, just gives us rich enjoyment of him. So rather than trying to keep the law and, and being run down, we don't have to worry about the law. We just care about clinging to our new husband, or oh, loving him, enjoying him, and by this loving Him, enjoying Him, we're supplied.